basically, uh, the deal with very, very large bodybuilders who push enormous weights and get huge, absolutely huge, usually have that muscle hypertrophy issue in their heart, which can really cause a problem. Um, that's why many bodybuilders don't make old bones, combined with the fact that if you are a huge bodybuilder and you take the gear, that will subject you to a, an, an increased risk of all sorts of organ system problems, including heart. So, yeah, that's, uh, again, so um, I guess what I'm really suggesting here is any kind of extreme in exercise in terms of the volume or crazy behaviours involved in some of these sports, these are the things that are furthest from the natural condition of a human being and the things that are most li likely to lead to a real problem. That's well said, yeah. I, I was thinking the same thing. Um, also, yeah. a bodybuilder that kind of uses different things. Um, currently using a peptide called BPC-157. And I know you've spoken about that quite a lot recently, so I'm probably boring you yep. to tears to talk about it, but could you outline what it is and how yep. it might, might be? Absolutely, so yes. It's a short amino acid chain of, I think it's 14 or 15 from memory, different amino acids. It's a, it's a peptide that you, the human body makes naturally by itself in very small amounts. The BPC stands for Body Protective Compound. It's being touted as the miracle peptide because it seems anecdotally to have massive effects on gastric function right through the whole uh, gastric tract. Uh, wound healing, especially things like soft tissue injuries, um, that kind of thing, and a bunch of other effects that are being investigated, etc. It's not currently licensed as a substance to be sold for human consumption. You cannot add it to food, substances, or supplements legally at all. It yeah, is being, as I say, touted as for research use only, but you can buy it. Anybody at all without, you know, proving you're a researcher, any, any member of the public, you can go to Amazon and buy it. BPC157, um, a dose for someone looking to solve a soft tissue injury issue or help resolve that is 500 micrograms three times a day. Um, I bought a few bottles of 20 capsules of 500 micrograms at $39.95 US dollars from Amazon recently. So, um, and for those that want to know, the brand I got was BioWell Labs, B-I-O-W-E-L-L -L Labs, Body Protective Compound, BPC-157, $39 US dollars on Amazon, Sold by BW Distribution. There you go. Very good. So how, how might that come into play with um, the Cerule product that you endorse? Well, it will be a it'll be a um, another synergist. It'll be another thing that encourages the body to renew and repair itself from um, whatever shock, injury, wear and tear, dysfunction, or disease it might be suffering. Um, for those that have had your head under a rock and don't know, I tore my Achilles tendon um, a few weeks back, um, three months and eight days ago it was. There you go. And I had miraculous progress, according to what I could rightfully expect, according to the orthopedic surgery team. Um with the Cyril product alone, and then I added BPC on top and got another another bump in the healing process and, and recovery, etc. I'm also undertaking neuro reset technique rehabilitation with the very lovely Jessica Henrard here in New Zealand, which also helps a great deal in terms of relearning how to innovate that joint and that muscle, or um, well, that muscle group really, including the whole foot. Um, as well, and all the muscles in the foot, and all the joints, and everything in there, which has been a godsend. So I'm I'm basically hitting it from every angle to try and get this thing resolved as quickly as possible. So as such, it's impossible to 
to, to point the finger of causality for the improvement at any one of those things. They're all additive, they're all synergists. So that's basically mm. my take on that. Yeah, very good. Yeah, it's nice to have an, an outline of what might be useful for at least soft tissue in, in injuries and what people might use. Mm. Yeah, combination. Yeah, so I mean, no, not at all. And and the thing with someone that does a lot of um, weight training, hypertrophy training, it may well expedite the healing, the recovery between sessions. That doesn't mean you should add more sessions. By the way, please don't add more than four training sessions a week if you are, unless you are a very very advanced bodybuilder doing probably three splits. Yeah, makes sense. A lot of people like mm. to train a lot. Yep. It's the addictive nature of exercise. Mm. Exercise yeah. training should be least effective exposure. In the same way any kind of drug or anything like that is thought of, what is the least amount of this thing we can give to a person and have the effect we want? That if somehow we've yeah. got it all out of whack with exercise, we seem to think more is better and even more is better than that. No, it's not about more volume. It's about increasing your intensity and managing your volume, keeping it as low as possible to get the effect. Completely agree, yeah. Definitely um, high-intensity training pro, uh, principles you just sound mm. like they're very good.